Hello again, this is Doug the Too Many Gardener, and we are continuing our talk this week about outdoor kitchen design ideas. So today's topic is going to be layouts, and the layout of an outdoor kitchen is really dependent on what you intend to do out there. There's really four different possible combinations of eating and drinking that people tend to use, so I try to tailor that kitchen to what they want to do out there. So the first up is if you just want to cook, you then you have a single little counter, generally about 36 inches past the barbecue itself. A barbecue is gonna be 32 to 46 inches. So you're going to go about a total length of about six to eight feet because you just want to have enough counter to set up your stuff to cook. So if you're just going to cook, these are the kind of barbecue counters that you're going to want to have. Something that's, again, six to eight feet in total length. The second kind is if you want to cook and serve. So if you're going to cook the food and then lay it out buffet style right there, that's always fun. Then you're going to want somewhere in the 8 to 10 feet of length. And it can be long and straight, or it can also have a turn to it, be an L-shaped barbecue like you see here. So you cook it all on one side and then lay it out on the other side so your guests can have a wonderful al fresco buffet out there. The next, and, and here's another example. It doesn't have to even be a turn. It can be a slight arc like I did with this particular barbecue. The next one uh, style of using an outdoor kitchen is going to be the cook, serve, and eat. So people can pull up a counter and there you're going to have a counter overhang. Now this is a 36 inch high counter overhang so you can use regular chairs to it. People can pull up and eat the food that you're cooking right there and gather around and really enjoy the meal you're preparing. Now this is different than the next one which is the cook, serve, eat and then start drinking phase. So when you have that kind of need I always encourage folks to do a slightly raised counter. So this is what I mean by a raised overhang. It's a bar counter type height. It's 42 inches high. And the reason you have it a little higher is if people are drinking, they tend to be more motion. Uh, they come, they go, they come, they go. And that way it's easy for them to come and go. They can sit for a little bit, but they're gonna leave. They're not gonna actually stay there for a duration eating a meal. So if there's gonna be a lot of drinking around the outdoor kitchen, put a little raised overhang in it as you see in these photos. Well, there you go. Those are the four different kinds of outdoor kitchen layouts I like to show my clients. That's all for now. Later this week, we'll look at some of the accessories you can get in an outdoor kitchen. But that is all the time we have. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching.